Hello there. As you can tell, I'm sitting in front of a Helmholtz coil, our Helmholtz coil. And the reason for this video is to talk about uh, this coil in the context of what location it's being used. Uh, when we first, uh, we did a video, I think, uh, uh, Kayla is operating the camera so she can uh, she can acknowledge you will hear her voice maybe a few times mm -hmm. in this video uh, That we we did a few videos about this coil and it was mounted in a different position uh, At this facility, but now as you can see we're actually inside the RF Reverberation chamber now this chamber is designed for doing testing at higher frequencies but um, it also serves a purpose of being very beneficial because right now in this chamber where I am sitting uh, there is zero volts per meter um, uh, e-field, low frequency e-field and that is great because uh, we want to be able to test uh, equipment that we're that we're developing for le measuring and testing low frequency e-fields and mag fields uh, but we need a, an environment that has next to nothing for um, background noise, if you will. So why am I talking about this? Well, the challenge that, that uh, we're facing right now is that this coil that we've calibrated at another location, we know exactly uh, what uh, signal generator is pop, uh, voltages are required to generate a certain E field and mag field um, at each frequency. The mag field generation is fairly constant. Uh, because the mag field is concentrated in the center of this uh, of this coil. But what's happened now with the reverberation chamber is that you've got the walls that are all conductive and reflective. And so this coil now for generating E fields, electric fields, um, the proximity of the coil to a ground, a large ground plane. So um, even though um, it looks like I'm sitting on a nice plush carpet, and it is a nice plush comfy carpet to sit on, but right underneath it is uh, a perfect ground plane connection as well. So when you see this chamber, not only the walls and ceiling are ground, but the floor is ground as well. So right now we've got proximity of, you know, a few six, seven inches from the edge of this coil to ground. We've got it same on this side, and we've got even less here. Well, actually, maybe close to the same on this side next to ground. So what does that mean? Well, uh, our calibrated E-field measurements have changed, and they're significantly reduced right now because um, there is a little bit of coupling going on that, the, that the, the field that I'm generating here with the power amplifier um, especially as we go up in, in, uh, in frequency, um, is being um, grounded or attenuated. And it's sort of like it's called a near field effect. Uh, same effect elect electrically, electronically as like a capacitor or something like that. So um, anyway, this is maybe fairly technical, but uh, in order for us to benefit of, the, of using the reverberation chamber and having the zero background uh, zero volts per meter is that we now have to recalibrate this for this chamber in this position. So, you know, uh, we're going to now uh, make up some mounts and things to hold this in a, in a consistent position that when we ever do E-field testing with the Helmholtz coil, we can just walk this into the chamber and hook it into the place that we know uh, is calibrated. And so, that's our project. We're going to do this, mount it in the proper position, and then run through all the frequencies from uh, down to 15 hertz right up to hundreds of kilohertz so that we have accurate representation of what, uh, what is in the center of this coil.